<laughs> What's the unboxing? What it be? I don't know. Shut up and see. Hey, friends. Do you remember way back when I unboxed Haunting of Hill House? It was the first numbered Sun Tup book I ever got. Yeah. If you don't remember here, let me, let me play a little clip for you so you can refresh your memories. I got the suit on. I'm all nervous. My palms are sweaty. We're bumping up to the limit of where I can go in this world. This is a stretch for me. It's a big moment. You're, you're not just watching an unboxing. You're witnessing social mobility. at this oh look at this oh this is oh my gosh oh and, and they they ooh you could feel oh. oh and that is my unboxing I don't know if you're appreciating this or not but I'm doing far fewer gasping yeah that was a lot of fun wasn't it yeah, it's so much fun. And I wore a suit for that one and everything. So I really let, I really let it slide um, over, the, over the, the what, year? Anyway, um, today I'm going to unbox the lottery, which is uh, the, the next or the only other Shirley Jackson book that Paul's doing from Suntup. And um, what's interesting about this is that uh, at the time when Hill House came out, he, there was a print run of 185. Only 185. And the very next book, Horns, he bumped up the print run to 250. So there were 65 more copies available in the print run, right? Well, as that went by, he stuck with that print run of 250, never went back to 185. And now we have the lottery. Now the lottery comes out and the print run is 250 but only 185 can match their number to Haunting of Hill House. So I have one of only 185 possible sets. Pretty jazzed about it. This looks to be an amazing book. Um, and it's a really cool thing that Paul did with this, with this sort of stand, with this sort of, with this standalone copy of this story. I think it's really cool. Really shows the respect for the work and what a classic story it is and, and how, um, how it deserves this sort of standalone treatment. Anyway, I'm gonna check in with the Magic Duff Bucket. What do you got for me? Pan of water. Yeah, I think water is still on the menu for a while. I, I just need the water. And that's the smoothest water. Smooth. It's smooth. So let's get into it. As somebody said early on in my unboxing career, more or less of you and more of the book. And that's, that's sort of a defining reminder of how I want to run this channel. More or less of me and more of the book. It's a tiny baby box. Tiny baby box. Oh, 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 the art on this, and here's the bookmark. The art on this edition was done by Shirley Jackson's grandson. It's introduced by Shirley Jackson's son. So it really is sort of uh, the pedigree of this book is very well established with the Jackson estate. Look at that. This is so cool. This is really, the slip case has the art on it. These two pieces don't appear in the book. And he put them on there at the last minute, sort of, which is, it's such a Paul thing to do to add things. The Spine, Shirley Jackson, The Lottery, Sun Tup Editions. And then the book, hand marbled paper. Oh, each one is different. 
different looking. Look at that. This is such a beauty. And of course, um, Paul, when he describes the books and the process and the materials and everything, he uses words I daren't try to pronounce, so I will mess them up. But this is mold-made paper. I don't know what that means, but the process sounds very bespoke. Um, and I'm about to feel very soft. Wow. Wow. And it's hand-sewn, each book. I don't know if you can see, it's just the lottery. Ooh, look at that. Those pages, it's almost like deckled edges. But, um, wow. Very nice. Um, I haven't read this story in ages. Beautiful, look at that. So vibrant. Uh, I guarantee you can bet your, you can bet I'll be reading this like very, very soon. Um, just looking for those signature page. Wow, there's a lot of, here it is. Number 23. Look at that. This is a really stellar production. Look at that. Beautiful. Lay a paper spine there. So I will share pictures at the end of this and you can uh, geek out in the privacy of your own abodes. And I will geek out here simultaneously. We won't know each other are doing those things because of the distance and whatnot. And I'm in the privacy here and all the, and you're in your privacy there. But feel free to geek out. This is such a, such a very unique edition. Very thrilled I have it. And it's going to go next to Hill House, a matching numbered set of 23. Um, very, very awesome. Splendid. Anyway, stay cool, my babies. Got a little treat tomorrow. Coming tomorrow, very little little treat, little sweet treat. It's like roll out the dessert cart, because here comes something special cooked up from 19th edition. I'm telling you, it's like book crack week. This. Oh, it's it's oh, okay. I don't want it to fall over or nothing. I'm glad you pointed that out. Thank you. Um, otherwise, it might have fallen. I wouldn't have. Yeah. Oh. So it's like book crack week. There's shark week and then there's book crack. Look at that baby. Shh. Look at that baby. Stay cool. Again, I'm working on that tagline thing.